Hi, third graders, third grade families, and third grade teachers. My name is Susan Mello, and I'm the, currently working as the Title I Math Coordinator for the Mescoma Valley Regional School District. Before I do anything, I would like to thank Nancy Murphy, the Director of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment. Uh, she and I chose and put these bags together, and thank you, third grade teachers, for your input. So now that I've thanked people, let's see what's in these great bags. Your math manipulative, grade appropriate math manipulative are place value blocks. You are all getting um, a set of these base 10 blocks right from the units, which represent one, to the longs, or sometimes they're called rods, that represent 10, to the flats that represent 100, to the cube that represents 1,000. Um, and you've used these in school and now you get to have your very own set at home. To go with that, you have a place value mat that shows you ones, tens, and hundreds. And you have some activities that you can do with that. The very first, do with those. The very first one, <clears throat> just to get the feel of them, are base 10 buildings and take your blocks and build something out of it. And then try to figure out how much your building is worth. You can use your place value mat to help you figure that out. Uh, the other uh, thing that you're getting that goes with these place value blocks is this book, Circumference and All the King's Tens. And it's all about, about place value and it'll be a fun read. Another uh, activity that goes with these base 10, you, base 10 blocks is called Representing Equivalent Names. And with these um, blocks, you would need to use number cards. We've given you a deck of cards. And these are the directions, and it says use numbers one through nine, and you need four of each. So you would use hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. Um, and then choose two cards and make a, two, uh, a double digit number and represent it on your place value mat with your, with your blocks. Um, and can you show it the same way? For example, if you chose four and three, let's say you're going to show 43. You could show 43, with four tens and three ones, another way to show 43 would be with three tens and 13 ones. An important skill when you start regrouping. Um, also, another base 10 activity is this activity. Here are the directions. Um, you are getting your cards not cut apart. I've cut them apart just for the ease of showing you. Each um, set comes four different colors because there's four different represent, representations of each amount. There's the numeral representation, the place value with the blocks representation, the number word representation, and the expanded notation. So how can you use these? <clears throat> you could take uh, one number card. Let's say you're going to take 431 and show it on your place value mat with your 400s 31 and then just to check yourself you could find 431 in your representation of course i'd like to show you the correct one and do i have it right here um no <laughs> but it would be 400s four flats three rods or tens and one unit here it is four flats three rods and one unit another way you could use these cards is to play a memory game i would suggest just using two colors um, and you could take say you're going to take expanded notation and um the the representation with the blocks spread them out just like a memory game turn over one of one color one of the other color and try to make a match so then you would be looking at the representation in blocks and expanded notation or number words or however you wanna play. Okay, in addition to all these um, place value activities, there are some other ones, um, two old favorites. Uh, we've included some directions for top it and you have multiplication top it and addition top it and subtraction top it. Um, the multiplication top it, just a quick review. You would use your cards. You turn over two cards and 
I would say, okay, five plus four is 20. It's a great way to have fun practicing multiplication facts. Another game that sort of goes along with that is called Product Pile Up. And in this game, uh, you use your one through 10 cards. And you, of course, as I said before, you have four of them. Um, you deal out eight cards to all the players. Three players would be ideal. You, then you turn over the top two cards. For example, if I turn over my top two cards in the, in the leftover deck, I have a four and a five. Well, four times five is 20. The next, the player that goes then has to find two cards in their hand that when multiplied together, the product is higher than this. And so on around the table, always trying to make the product higher. The directions tell you what to do when the cards are gone and or you can no longer make products higher. Um, the topic game, another old favorite is called Salute. For example, we have a third person who has to kind of be the MC for the game. We deal out the cards. Um, I'm going to hold one card on my head that I'm not going to know what it is, but I can see the other player's card, and that other player has a four on their head. The MC of the game would say 20. Well, I know that I'm looking at a four. The pro what four times what equals 20? Five, four times five is 20. An old favorite, usually for, good for a few laughs. Um, another game that we have here is called Roll to 1000. On this game, you need your dice. You have a pair of dice and you're going to roll, let's say you roll a three and a four for a total of seven. Well, you're going to multiply that times 10. So three plus four is seven times 10 is 70. Okay. When it is your turn, you can roll the die, the dice as many times as you want, and each roll will tell you how many tens you have. If you happen to roll a one, your turn is over and it goes to the next person. Uh, continue to add to your score each turn, and I've included a record uh, sheet here, and you can write on it. It's in a plastic sleeve. You can write on it with your dry erase marker and erase it and use it over and over again. The first player to score 1,000 or more is the winner. To help you with some of these multiplication and division facts, you have a multiplication division facts table, and you can use this as a reference because we've also included some um, of these word family multiplication and division cards. Um, uh, yours will not come cut apart, but I've cut these apart. How to use these. Three times nine equals 27. Nine times three equals 27. 27 divided by three equals nine. 27 divided by nine equals three. And you can use that as a guide. You also have on the other side of that, you also have a number grid. Those also come in handy when you're solving math facts. Um, the last game that I wanted to share with you is called Shuffle to 100, similar to 1000. Um, however, there is a, um, a bit of a strategy here. You are going to be estimating sums and making combinations close to 100. For example, <clears throat> two or three players and shuffle the cards and deal them out five players to each player number side up. I have just been dealt two, three, nine, five, eight. What I wanna do is I wanna take four of these cards and make two two-digit numbers. When added together, will be close to 100. So I've done this before, so I'm able to do this rather quickly. I'm going to take 58 and 39. I'm going to, you have to discard a card, the fifth card, so I'm discarding two. So I am going to add 39 and 58, and when I add those together, I have 97. The next task is to subtract 97 from 100, and my remainder is three. So I'm going to record that, I'm going to write that number sentence down and record it on my sheet. After four rounds, the player with the lowest score wins. Little strategy there, a little thinking. And I was real quick about it because as I said, I practiced it before we made this video. I think that's it. Um, you have counters, dice, all of these great things. Um, have fun with your math bag. I wanna thank the people again that helped put these together and uh, enjoy. Thank you.